it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Some of you might have watched my Boa Indian Lager review from Aldi. Well, we're going to follow that up with another brand new beer into Aldi. This time it is Pramo Czech Lager at 5% ABV, 660 milliliter bottle. Brand new as of the end of January, early February 2023. Silver bottle cap. No doubt this is a bit of a rip-off of Stara Praven. Uh, it was £1.49 for this bottle. Stara Praven probably cost you about £1.80. So, Aldi, again, are undercutting the competition. They don't mind kind of cheekily ripping off companies with their products. Now, one thing I'm going to say before I open this one is that um, Aldi's competitor, Little, brought out a Stara Praven rip-off back in the summer of 2022 and it was recalled it had too much um it had too much something in it i don't know met precious metal precious metal it had something in there that wasn't very good for the human body so, so they completely scrapped it little completely scrapped it and it was a bit of a marketing disaster for little but aldi seemed to like strike when the iron's hot, don't they? The nearest competitor in the budget supermarket world have had a beer recall. They've stepped in and made their own version, very, very similar to Lidl's. It's in a 660ml bottle, though. The little one was in a 330ml bottle, so you gain twice as much beer um, than, the, than the Lidl version. But still, they're very good at striking while the iron's hot, aren't they, Aldi? And... Well, let's get it out first. If you bought, bought a bottle of Stara Pravum round a corner shop, big big bottle like this, it probably cost you the best part of two quid. If you bought it in a top four supermarket, it probably cost you £1.80. The fact that they've knocked this out at £1.49 is, again, tremendous value for money. And the times we're in... I think Aldi have timed it correctly. They've timed the release of this beer absolutely fantastically well. It's the end of January. Everybody's finishing that dry January thing that they were on. Everybody's looking for a beer. The nights are drawing out. I bet there's some of you out there that are already thinking about having a barbecue. Didn't get dark now until gone five o'clock in the afternoon. And we're generally heading in that direction of warmer temperatures. And of course, what comes with warmer temperatures are lagers. So we've got a one finger white head and um, good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. It's an, it's an amber colour, this one. I've forgotten to do the check pour. Me busy talking along here. I should have done the check pour. I should have knocked the carbonation out of this beer. I'll talk about all of that stuff in a moment. And I'll also briefly talk about the green glass bottle on the beer. I don't want to cover it too much. Because I kind of covered it in the Boa beer review um, quite extensively. So on we go then. Let's get the... It's a clear looking amber coloured beer. Good carbonation. Let's get the aroma. Really lovely and zesty. Really lovely and zesty. A little bit more sweetness than the boa, the Indian lager, certainly in the aroma. Spicy, peppery, malty. It smells good. Smells really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Wow. Oh. Oh, I say wow. Oh. Now then. It's got that classic bready, malty, Czech lager taste. That was the wow bit. That was the, ooh, that's nice. 
but I just want to take a couple of tastes just to make sure about regarding the, the, the back end of the beer. My initial thoughts are not very good, but let's, let's give it a couple of tastes. It's actually improving. I think it was my palate adjusting to the beer. I just reviewed the Boa Indian Lager literally 10 minutes ago. So, I mean, it's just sitting over there out of, out of shot. Um, I think it was just a case of getting used to the flavours in this beer. It, it started off really bready and biscuity. And I will say that first initial taste... It tasted quite metally, quite metallic. And then it was like a big kind of raw bitterness coming through on the back end. But I've had a couple more tastes of the beer. A couple more tastes of the beer. And... Although it is still a little bit metallic, a little bit metally on the back end. It's, it's drinkable. It's drinkable. It's quite, it's quite a raw bitterness. It's a longing, longing bitterness. Maybe it's because the beer is brand new. Maybe it is because it's absolutely bang brand new in the shelves on Aldi supermarket and, and, and maybe it's just the fact that it's just super fresh I just come to me sulfury now the problem with the little beer it was it was had too much sulfur for the human body um, and I feel this is the same I feel that this is has that kind of metallic slightly sulfury overly sulfury taste to it it's a bit of a shame to be honest because i really wanted to like this one i even went to great lengths to put it in a Czech style beer glass. <clears throat> so nice head, nice look to the beer, good head retention. It's a nice looking beer, it's got a nice aroma. In all honesty, I think I prefer the Boa. If I was standing in the aisles of Aldi, and I was looking for some beers for the weekend. And I tasted the two beers previously. I think I'd be putting six bottles of the Boa in my shopping trolley. In all honesty, there's two new beers that have launched into Aldi, Boa and this Pramo Czech Lager. And for me, certainly the Boa is a more well-balanced lager it, it's not so raw on the back end it doesn't share the same kind of metally metallic really raw bitterness flavors that, that this pramo does um maybe it's because i'm drinking the beer absolutely brand new maybe you might be buying a bottle in a few weeks time and the hops have maybe dropped out a little bit in the beer. <coughs> and it's not as raw with that bitterness. But as it is, as it is, I prefer the Boa. How does it compare to Stala Pravin? Well, 
I think Steiner Pramen is a better all-rounded, tastier beer, to be honest with you. Um, it, this is a bit of a shame. I was expecting, because I've said it before and I'll say it again, Aldi are, are very, very good at making lagers. Aldi produced some terrific vice beers and, and pilsners. And it's a shame that they slightly missed the mark with this one. It's not far off. It's not the worst tasting beer that I've ever uh, reviewed. But it's not the greatest either. It's a bit kind of in the middle. It's not skunky, so I'll be very quick with this. Um, light strike, uh, the, the sun has UV ultraviolet light and it hits the glass bottle, the green glass bottle and clear glass bottles, and it strikes the hops. It, it's called hop strike, light strike, and it causes the beer, the hops normally have a lovely floral, zesty aroma and flavor to them. It causes a chemical reaction in the beer and it turns it into more of maybe something that comes out of the back of a skunk's backside. Um, not very nice at all. <clears throat> Thankfully, it's not in this beer. It's not in this beer. So, um, Pramo, Czech Lager, um, do you buy it? Well, oh, I don't know. I don't think I'll be buying this again, personally. I'd be th If I wanted to drink a Czech Lager, I'd probably be drinking my Budvar. My Budweiser Budvar. Um, I, I think that's a terrific example of a of a of a Czech beer. Um, for me, it's too metallic. It's too it's too raw. It's too bitter. It's too but it it's just raw bitterness. It's not like there's any real hop flavors coming through. It's just bitter for being the sake of bitter. I know it's a pilsner. I know it's supposed to be like that, but it's quite bitter. It's it's more bitter than a Stana Pram or a. Budweiser Budvan, way, way, way more bitter. But it does share that same breadiness to begin with. Uh, I'm going to give that a five, unfortunately. Five out of ten from Real, Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.